So, it's sunrise here in Thailand. This gym is crap. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so for the warm up, I'm doing a 2.5 mile run. <sighs> Don't normally do cardio first, but when the equipment's short, you know. So here's the gym. We've just got a treadmill, kind of cross trainer, an ab rack, if you like, and then some dumbbells. Don't even have the weights on. Oh yeah, they do. That's it, and a water machine. Okay, so I'm gonna start it with some walking lunges. Um, I want this workout to be at least 30 minutes long, given the uh, limited equipment. Do a full body workout. So I'm gonna do some walking lunges around the gym. I might get told off, but we'll see. set and go out in a minute do it twice more even though the weights aren't too heavy it is quite a long distance that I'm covering cone water <sighs> so I've done legs next I'm gonna do some uh, press-ups as many as I can do and then into soldier presses until failure so we'll do that three times soldier presses I'm gonna do a downward incline on this amp machine I'm going to use one of these dumbbells. I'm going to do shoulders. I'm going to do a shoulder press and then some dumbbell kind of modified bus drivers. Here we go. So someone came in and it's a very small gym. So I'm gonna finish with um, two supersets, one of biceps and one of triceps. And uh, then we'll do some abs as well. Done. So just because you've not got much equipment or if the weight might be a bit lighter than you used to, it doesn't mean that you still can't get a really good workout. You just have to kind of think outside of the box a bit and outside of what you would normally train. If you're really focusing on the contraction of the muscle, feeling that full range of motion and squeezing the muscle, you will still get a good workout. Workout done.